campus and welcome to Thursday. Hey. It's great to see you. Welcome back to Activate Online. Are you ready? We're ready. Let's go. Hey. to Camper versus Leader. Today we're going to have a game of Water Blast. In Water Blast the campers and the leaders are going to have 20 cups spread around the car park. It's going to be the fastest person who can knock down every single one. The person with the fastest time is going to win. For the campers we have Josh and for the leaders we have Ben. Let's see how they do. Right I'm here with Josh who's the representative of the campers. Josh I just want to see how you're feeling today because you're facing Ben who's going to be very up for this. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good about this. Are you feeling confident? Do you think you'll be able to beat him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to know Josh do you have any tactics that you're going to use? Mm, just like get good aim and just the aiming needs to be precise. So you're going for precision over pace. Nice. So let's see how it works out. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Nice, very fast, very fast. Nice. He's got to find all of them. It's not falling over. Good shot, brilliant. Keep going. You've missed one, you've missed one, you've got one back here. You got one back there! Yeah. And your last one, last one! It's not over, it's not going over! So Josh, you were the first one to complete our course. How do you think you've done? I think I did pretty well. I, missed my, I think I missed one, but apart from that, I think I did pretty well. Do you think that time is going to be good enough to beat Ben? Yeah. Yeah? He's confident. Let's see. Great, well I'm joined with Ben here, who's going to be taking it for the leaders. Ben, how are you feeling? Well, there's a, there's a strong opponent, Josh, so uh, confident levels are a bit low at the moment. Nice. Have you got any tactics to help you, do you think? How are you going to approach this task? I think just shoot all the cups down is, is the way I'm going to go. Yeah, just, just hit as many as I can, as quick as I can. Good tactic. Sounds like a winner. Let's see how he does. Ready? Three, two, one, go, 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 go! Good start. He's doing well, he's doing well. Right he's got a few more to go. <laughs> Is it not going? Got to get it down, Ben. Got to get it down. <laughs> nice, well done, he got it down. <laughs> Yes! Three cups to go. Time for a reload. Last cup. Oh no, it's the last cup now. Yes! Nice! Right, Ben, so you finished the course. How do you think your time is? 
I think it was pretty solid, Josh. I think it was pretty solid. I uh, I got all of them down. Maybe well, one took one took a bit of time, but yeah, I think it was solid. I think it was good. Great. Well, we'll hand over to the scorecard and see what happens. Right, so as you can see, Josh has absolutely smashed Ben's time, which means that is one for the campers. Well done, Josh. Come on, Ben, that was terrible. Back to the studio. Oh, no. I that thought the, yeah, I thought the leader's going to take that. No, I did too for a second, but Josh got it. Well played, Josh. That was a great effort. Thanks, Ben, for getting involved as well. So where are we at now? We're at 2 all. We are at 2 all. 2, two all. Tomorrow is going to be the deciding round. You could not make it up. It's going to be great. Camper versus leader going right to the wire on the last day, locked up at 2-2. Two and two. Next, we're off to the farm for a little bit of farm fun. And I think today, Tim and Audrey, Farmer Tim, and his wife Audrey have got an absolute treat for us. One of the things we love most at camp is... Audrey's cooking. Absolutely, we love the food. It is about time that Tim learns to cook too. I so. think so. Let's see what happens. Okay, so before we start cooking, we really need to put on our, ap our apron. So I've got one for me and a third one for you. I've got something better than that. Oh, okay. Oh, I wasn't quite thinking that, but it'll do. Okay, right, so the first thing we've got to do is uh, to crush some biscuits. Okay, fine, I'll do that. Oh, okay. some butter so to do that I'm I'll going... do that I'll, I've got a better way of doing that I've got a good way of doing that thank you you could just melt the, the butter in a microwave. Add it to the biscuits and then you can use a spoon to stir it all together. Okay, so once it's all well mixed together, I'm going to tip it into a flat ring or, or dish and then we need to flatten it. I've, I've got something that'll, that'll do that. Really? Yep, cool. Okay. until it's pressed down 
and nice and smooth. Okay, so we now need some uh, the caramel for the banoffee pie. Now make sure you get caramel carnation so it's ready done, ready to use. So we just need to open this tin now. I'll do that. Now the next thing we need is some bananas. So we need probably two or three bananas, depending on the size of them really. No problem. Um, oh, really? I'll take one. Yeah, you take one. Bye. Now I wonder if this will do it. Nah. will enjoy those ones. So just arrange the bananas on the top of the monopoly, top of the caramel, till all the toffee is covered. No! Okay so next we need is some double cream which we need to whip in a bowl. I'll do that. So this is just lightly whipped double cream. I don't ask what you did with it. There we go. And then just smooth that over. You just try and cover all the bananas so that they don't discolour. Nearly done. And be careful not to over whip the cream. Very easy to over whip it. There we go. Okay, so the last bit is just to add some grated chocolate on the top just to make it look pretty. I'll do it. This should do the trick. Now you remember through the week we are going through this booklet 
Now, if they haven't got a book, Lanny, where can they go to get one? They can go online, check out the website. Fantastic, we'll put it at the bottom here. And yep. what kind of stuff have we got on there today? Well, let's just look at the home camp fun that you've got going on in the bottom left corner every single day. And today that is bonkers bouncing, because we know everyone misses the bouncy cast and the bouncy slide at camp, so we've come up with a way for you to do a bit of bouncing of your own. Fantastic, everyone loves stuff that bounces and we want you to make a trick shot video. You might have seen people online like Do Perfect doing trick shots with bouncy balls or ping pong balls. See if you can make a video of your own and send it our way. We would love to see them. If you're not sure where to send stuff, where do they have to look, Annie? Front page of the booklet, it's got all the details there. Great, fantastic. We can't wait to see what you send in. So we have had our Camper versus Leader. We've had some fun up at everyone's favourite farm. Yeah. And now it's time for today's mystery guest. And I'm off to see if I can find out who it is. Shall we find out who today's mystery guest is? Come on in. Knock, knock. Hey! It's Will! Welcome Will, great to see you. So tell me, we've been uh, doing Activate Online this week instead of our normal Activate Camp. I know you have been on Activate Camp and all the camps actually quite a few times. Tell me, what is the grossest thing that has ever happened on camp to you? Mm -hmm. So it was one of the challenges for one of the games where as a tent, we had to drink a pint of lukewarm custard out of a frisbee. Oh, it sounds mean. Yeah, yeah. Pint of custard out of I a frisbee. Do it. Oh no, sounds horrible. Don't, maybe that's not one to try at home. <laughs> okay, but tell me, because you've done camp quite a few times, yeah. uh, why is it that you want to help out on camp and be one of our leaders? Well, I think it's a really fun thing to do, and yeah. I, I think it's great for the younger kids to be able to learn about God in the same way that I did. Fantastic. So you went through camp, you learned about God, and now you want to share that with, with someone else. Brilliant. You know, today we're thinking about how you can not just know about God, but you can know God for yourself. That even though you can't see him, uh, you can know him. And we're going to have a bit of fun with Will now, with some things that he cannot see. Okay, Will, here's the game, okay? Yeah. Without being able to see who it is, you've got to try and work out who someone is at camp by just asking me questions that I can say yes or no to, okay? How many questions do you think you're gonna need? I think I'll need about 10. 10's a bit generous, I reckon. I was thinking more five. Should we go in the middle? Yeah, why not? Seven, he's gonna get seven questions and maybe a clue on the end, okay? Now, here's the first person. For all you watching at home, we'll show the first person now. Okay, question number one, go. Are they a leader? No. Ooh. Are they a person? No. Okay. Are they a, a, a dog? No. Not a dog, okay. So they're not a person? Yeah. And they're not a dog? No. What could it be? Is it... God? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Will, you fall down, you've only got three, three to go. Are they an animal? Yes. Hmm. Oh, what could it be? <laughs> oh, man. So, not a person, not a dog, an animal. The cows? No, one question left. One question left. <laughs> I don't know. Horses? He's not got it. He's not got it. So I'll put you out of your misery. Yeah. Starsky the puppet. Starsky the puppet. Oh, <laughs> man. It's so, so obvious as well. <laughs> Should we do one more? Yeah. Maybe you guys need to shout along at home to give him clues. Okay, are we ready? Seven clues, seven questions, go. Okay. Are they a person? Yes. Are they a leader? Yes. Okay. Are they male? Yes. Are they a farmer? Yes. Is it Tim? Yeah! That looked rigged, but you didn't. Yeah. You just absolutely no. nailed it. Smashed it. Farmer Tim. Well done. 
back to the studio. Thanks so much, Will, for getting involved in that mystery guest segment. I love our mystery guests. Yeah, definitely. And following on from that, we have got another song with the legend that is Pete Bryan. Fantastic. This is a song that was written for camp this year. It's called Oh What Joy. Thanks, boys and girls, for sending in some clips and helping us out with the words. Thanks for tuning in to Activate Online. Today we're going to sing the song Oh What Joy. I think of who you are and everything you've done You're the awesome God of all, the King of everyone It's amazing that you freely gave your precious Son So the curse of sin and death I want to try to live one perfect way Even though you can't be seen, you're never far away And I can't wait to see your face when Jesus comes one day And oh, what joy, I'm happy in my heart God loves me, we'll never be apart The maker of the galaxy wants me in his family awesome God of all, the King of everyone. It's amazing that you freely gave your precious Son, so the curse of sin and death could be overcome. And oh, what joy, I'm happy in my heart. Jesus came to give me a fresh start. We're going to go on to our story time now, and we're going to hand you over to Kate for our latest journey through the Bible. Hi everyone, I'm Katie, and today's story, we're going to be finding out all about how you can know God. What was that? What can we do? I can know God. I can know God. I can know God. We can, we can know, know God. God. I can know God! Got it. Today we're finding out all about how you can know God. We have two characters. The first character was a man called Philip, who God thought was a pretty great guy. The second character was a man the Bible calls the Ethiopian. He was a very important man. Our story starts on a desert raid where God had asked Philip to travel from Jerusalem to Gaza. On the way, he saw the Ethiopian man reading a book of Isaiah in a chariot. God told him to go over to that man because he had a special message for him and because he wanted that man to know God. The Ethiopian was reading a book called Isaiah. Nowadays, that's a part of our Bible, but in these times, the Bible hadn't been put into one book just yet. So it was made up of lots of different books, Isaiah just one of them. Whilst the Ethiopian was reading the story about Isaiah, he 
he couldn't understand the message because Isaiah was talking all about this guy who at that point was far into the future called Jesus who would be coming to earth so that we could have forgiveness from our sins. Because he hadn't heard about Jesus, the Ethiopian couldn't understand Isaiah's message. So Philip joined the Ethiopian on his journey and explained to him the good news that Isaiah was sharing about Jesus all those years before. Philip told the Ethiopian that when we become a Christian, all our sins are forgiven because of Jesus' death and that we can now have a relationship with God that will last forever. The Ethiopian was pretty excited about this news and as soon as he saw some water he asked Philip if he could be baptised to show that he too wanted a relationship with God. Philip agreed and so the Ethiopian was baptised and afterwards he couldn't stop singing and praising and dancing for God. You know what's amazing? Before our story, Philip didn't know this Ethiopian man and in fact afterwards he never met him again. But because he knew God, because he had this knowledge to share, it meant that the Ethiopian's life could be changed forever and as a result he could then live with God. Now that's pretty exciting news. Because it also means that when we know God, we can share that knowledge with the people in our lives too but maybe you're a little bit more like the Ethiopian. Perhaps you're a little confused as to what this message actually means for you or what all that Bible talk might be about. Well, if that's the case, I would encourage you to look out for people who might act a bit like Philip in your life. Perhaps you've got someone at home who you can ask questions to. Perhaps you can carry on watching the talks from camp or send us a message with a question you might have. What's exciting is that it is totally worth it because when you oh know God, you too can have a relationship with him and live as a Christian. Have you guys ever thought about how big God is? He's so big, we can't really draw him, we can't make a model of him. And in the Now We Know section in our book, we're challenging you to make a photo or an image or a model of what you think God is. But he's too big, isn't he, really? He can feel so far away sometimes, just like in the story. But we know that Jesus is close to us and he loves us so much. That was the lesson that the eunuch learned from Philip, wasn't it? That God seemed far away. He was reading about God. But here, Philip helped him learn that he could know God for himself. And when he learned that, do you know what he wanted to do? He wanted to get baptised. We've done a crazy craft here that's all about running water. Have a look at that. It looks really cool. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? The idea is you get some recycled stuff from home, you pin it up to the wall, and you see if you can make not a marble run, but a water run at home. As always, send in a picture, send in a video. We'd love to see what you're getting up to while you're doing camp at home. Absolutely. Now, what else have we got going on today? We have had our song time, we've had story time, which means it must be... Thought of the day. Fantastic. Let's check it out. and a big hello to my tent from last year. I hope you're all really enjoying Activate Camp Online. Now, on to today's thought of the day, which is called Just Because. When you're thinking up a reason, do you ever say, just because? Well, God says, I love you just because. He doesn't say, I love you because you're kind, or I love you because you're helpful, or I love you because you're getting good grades, or even, I love you because you love me. God says, the reason I love you is, I love you. If God loved you because you're kind, that means if you stopped being kind, he'd stop loving you. Or if he loved you because you loved him, what if you stopped loving him? God loves us just because. And in the Bible, it says this, our God did not love us or choose us for anything in us. It was simply because he loves us. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verses seven to eight. Thanks so much for that, Emily. Now we're going to show you some of the stuff that you guys have sent in. Can't wait to see this. Let's see.
Hi campers, you join me from my tent again. I hope you really enjoyed day four of Activate Online where we learned that you can know God, not just know about him, but you can know him for yourself. And as usual, there are loads of great things in the booklet that you can try, so maybe you want to give some of those a go today. Yesterday, we learned that you can be friends with God and we had all these great things in here that you could try and loads of you gave them a go. And so I'm gonna show you some of that now. First up, we've got Amelia, who has been very busy in the kitchen, not only having a go at today's homemade pizza, but also making an amazing chocolate mud pudding from the other day. Amelia, they look absolutely delicious, and I'm sure your brother, who you made them for, uh, was absolutely delighted to uh, be able to gobble them up with you. Great job, Amelia. Thanks for the photos. Loving seeing them. What have we got next? Uh, we have got Isaac, who's also been very busy in the kitchen, making some pizza. Isaac, you've been making all sorts of food this week and it looks brilliant. I hope you really, really enjoyed eating it and enjoyed making it too. Now, people have been watching Camp Online from all over the place and we got a picture today from the Trafford family, Katie and her family, who watched yesterday's Camp Online on the Euro Tunnel. Great job joining us from them. That's a fantastic effort. Well done, guys. I hope you have a great holiday. Next up, we have got Hannah, and Hannah's been busy doing our tower challenge. Remember we said about the, the bales, you can make a tower, and she had a great go at that and made a nice big tower. And she's also had a go at the rope swing challenge, and she tells me that this is her and her friend Esther on the rope swing together, having a brilliant time. Love that, Hannah. Great job. And speaking of Esther, Esther and her brother Josh had a go at their own cushion bale challenge. So just like the leader were getting as high as they could with the bales, they decided to have a go with some pillows at home and it looks like a lot of fun. And I think the record that they managed to set was nine, which I, I don't know, could be some kind of world record or something. So why don't you give that a go at home? The pillow bale challenge or the cushion bale challenge, give that a go. Great. Who else have we got? Well, Sophie and Izzy made a tower too, but they decided the best thing to make it out of was themselves. So here's a picture of them having a lot of fun at home, making their own tower. Great job, girls. Well done. And then we've got Freddie who decided the best thing to do on a warm, warm day like we've been having was to have himself a chocolate milkshake. Thanks for sending in that picture, Freddie. That looks great. I hope you really enjoyed that. Lily, uh, and her sister Edie are having a great time out in Northern Ireland and they found themselves some straw on a farm to make themselves feel at home as if they were on Activate Camp. That looks brilliant. Well done. And who else have we got? We've now got a great picture of Scarlett, Jess and Lily having a go at that cross craft. Remember the craft that Tim did yesterday uh, with the piece of paper and telling the whole story of Jesus's journey to the cross. Well done, girls. That is brilliant. And lastly, this is an amazing one that we have been sent from Daniel and Isaac Wicks, who have sent us this picture from Ethiopia. Thank you so much, boys. We are really, really pleased that you're able to join us. And this is their tower that they made all the way over there in Africa. I hope you're well. And uh, it's really, really great to see you and to see you having fun. Guys, what an amazing collection. Well, well done. Brilliant. Thanks so much for everyone who's been sending in their things. That's our favourite thing, to see all the things that you're getting up to and how you're really loving camp at home, even though we can't be together face to face. Now I'm going to let you into a little secret now. We do lots and lots of this filming and we don't always get it quite right. And I thought it'd be quite fun to show you some of the times where we got it a little bit wrong. So I'm going to show you some bloopers now. Good morning, campers. Oh, it's got straw in it. It's just completely bummed with straw. <laughs> Good morning, campers! Oh, that was we'll do that again. <laughs> Good morning, campers, and welcome to Thursday on Activate Online. Are you ready to go? We're ready to go. Three, two, one, let's go! <laughs> Good morning, campers. Welcome back to Camper Versus Leader. Today we have, oh, I forgot what the name of the challenge is. <laughs> What's the challenge? Great, thanks Pete and uh, Pete. <laughs> 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 this Pete on the drums. <laughs> Welcome to... <laughs> <laughs> Hello campers, we 
join me from my tent again. What are you doing here? <laughs> Welcome to, oh, I forgot what it's called again. What was it called? <laughs> this happened last time. Really <laughs> See, we don't always get it right first time. It's quite good fun when we uh, get it wrong and we have a laugh. I hope you enjoyed that too. Let's have a think about some of the things that you could do today. Maybe you want to have a go at that amazing banoffee pie that you saw in that thing earlier. Maybe you want to have a go at the crazy craft making a water run out of some recycled materials. Or maybe you want to have a go at this bonkers bouncing activity. Set up a bouncing thing, do a trick shot, do perfect style, send in your videos. Remember, send in your pictures, send in your videos, maybe send in a shout out to your friends. We would love to hear from you. And who knows, you might even and make it onto the last day of Activate Online. Thanks so much for joining us again today. We are loving that so many of you are able to tune in and enjoy camp with us. And we will see you again for our last day at 10 tomorrow. Well, thanks so much guys for all the stuff that you've been sending in. It is fantastic for us to be able to see what you've been able to do at home. Keep working through the booklet each day. And of course, a really important thing for us is to talk to God. So today we're going to pray again. Thank you so much, God, that even though I can't see you, I can know you for myself through your son, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thanks so much, Annie, for joining us today. And you too, Paul. Fantastic. We will see you again tomorrow. Cue the outro.